So picking up from the last time we were here at the VM, what we're going to be doing next is we're going to be upgrading from a brand new Liferay 6.2 instance. We're going to get that all the way up to Liferay 7.1 using a couple tools along the way. So first thing we're going to be doing before pushing on is closing a couple of our windows and shutting down our Liferay instance. So let's go ahead, close some of these tabs real quick. Uh, do a little bit of cleanup, all right? I don't want our desktop to be too cluttered here. So just closing a couple of different windows along the way. And we're also gonna be shutting down our Liferay instance. Uh, if you wanna live life on the edge, you can just close this window and close the terminal. Uh, it's kind of like ejecting or ripping out the USB before you eject it. Sometimes it's safe. Uh, if you're doing something really important, you're typically not gonna to wanna to do that. But in this situation, we're okay, not too big of a deal. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna be unzipping a couple of Liferay instances. We're gonna start off by unzipping a Liferay 6.2 instance. And then from there, we're gonna unzip a Liferay 7.1 instance. We're gonna get both of those up and running and we're gonna get our Liferay 6.2 instance all the way up to 7.1 using our Liferay bundles. So let's take a look and see how we're able to do a couple of these things. And I do a little bit more cleanup here real quick. Okay. All right, so first thing, uh, I'm gonna open up a new terminal window. I closed out all of my old ones. And we're gonna start off by um, redoing kind of the Liferay instance setup for 6.2. In this situation though, we're gonna start with a brand new clean database. Uh, we're not gonna be running off of a production-like environment. So before we get too ahead of ourselves, let's start off by navigating to the Liferay DXP upgrade folder. This is where our Liferay 6.2 instance is gonna be. We're gonna go ahead and unzip our Liferay 6.2 instance. So I misspelled Liferay there. Again, remember to use that tab button, that autocomplete. It's gonna save you a lot of time. So we're gonna unzip our Liferay 6.2 instance. We're gonna unzip it into a specific directory, specifying that with the dash D, and then servers slash clean, uh, not clear, clean, clean. There we go. Go ahead and hit enter. Let that process go. Unzipping is pretty quick in the Linux world, so I'm always really impressed by how fast unzipping goes, right? If you're used to the Windows unzipping tool, uh, it does take a long time. So unzipping tool is much, much faster. Now that that's done, right, we want to connect to a MySQL database. We're going to be creating a blank one and letting Liferay kind of do the rest. Let's first start off um, by copying that MySQL connector jar into the proper directory over in servers, uh, clean, uh, Liferay, and then Tomcat, lib, ext, right? So copying the MySQL connector jar to the libext folder in Tomcat of our Liferay 6.2 instance, right? As we did before, we're gonna make a directory uh, over in our Liferay home. So servers clean and then Liferay, I mistyped that, Liferay, there we go. Liferay portal, and then we're gonna be creating the deploy folder. Okay, once we have that deploy folder all created, all ready to go, we're gonna copy that activation key for Liferay 6.2 into the deploy folder that we have just created. So CP for copy, the activation key using tab to autocomplete. There are two of them, right? So this is for development in the 6.2 world, right? Make sure you see 6.2 there for the activation key since we do have the 7.1 there as well. Once you've confirmed the 6.2 activation key is indeed the one that is selected, let's send that or let's paste that over into the deploy folder that we just created over in servers, clean, and then uh, life rate portal, and then deploy. All right. So we have our life rate instance all ready to go. Next up, we're gonna be creating our database over in MySQL. So let's go ahead and start up a new terminal window using Control-Alt-T as in Tango. 
And then we're gonna log into the MySQL client, MySQL-U as a uniform. The user is root-p as in papa. The password is liferay, no caps, no funny business, just liferay. Once we have that, let's create our database. So the database, or the command is create database. The name of the database is the liferay default that it looks for. L portal, and we're gonna set the character set to UTF-8. Remember that semicolon at the end, right? Again, if I'm going too fast, you always have the ability to pause. If I'm going too slow, you can feel free to speed me up a little bit, clicking on that little gear there, hitting 1.25 or even 1.5 if you wanna go really, really fast. All right, so creating that database, we're good to go. MySQL lets us know that, yeah, we are good. Let's go ahead and start up our Liferay instance in the other terminal window. So back over in the main terminal that we've been working with, we're gonna head over to the bin folder of Tomcat. Our Liferay instances are over in the servers folder. We uh, started off uh, we started off unzipping and clean, and then Liferay DXP, Tomcat, bin. And I always like to go in here and then dot slash Catalina SH run like so. All right. And then we're going to let Liferay start up. Uh, Liferay does take a little bit of time to start up. All right, so we'll give it the time that it needs. All right. So Liferay has started up or it is starting up. We're going to head over to the basic configuration once everything is good to go. All right, you can keep the defaults here. Uh, if you wanna make the database process even faster, I know it doesn't say so in the instructions, uh, but you can uncheck this add sample data, but just for fun, I'm gonna keep it there. We're gonna click on this change link right here so that we're able to connect to our MySQL database. So scrolling down a little bit, for database type, we're gonna click on the drop down and then select MySQL. Right. If you're doing this um, with a different database name, you just need to change the L portal. Uh, since we did call this L portal, or at least we should have, um, we can leave that alone. The username here is going to be root, and then the password is the MySQL password that we've been working with, uh, so Liferay. Once you have that taken care of, go ahead and click Finish Configuration. We're gonna wait as Liferay does its thing, create the tables that it needs within the database and then once we do, we're gonna back it up. Cool, so while it did take a little bit of time for me, eventually the process did finish, right? And so if I wanted to go into the portal, I could. We're gonna to wanna to walk through the rest of the configuration here. So we'll go ahead and click on go to my portal. So in terms of use here, again, really important document that everybody should read. So make sure you take the time here to read the terms of use. I'm sure there's a lot of good information here about your rights and what you can or cannot do with Liferay. So again, make sure to read it or you can be like everyone else and you know, click I agree. Right, you don't have to really read it. All right, question here, what's your father's middle name? Uh, my father's middle name is Test. I'll go ahead and save here. I'm going to get that printed on a shirt one day. Test, test at liferay.com, password of test. My father's middle name is Test. Cool. So now we're inside of Liferay. We have our Liferay instance all up and running. Let's go ahead and close uh, the browser here, and then we're going to shut down Liferay. You can always use control C to shut it down. That's a little bit safer way to do so. Okay. And then we're gonna be backing up our database. Right. So again, this is just good practice. Uh, so first off, we're gonna create the directory that we're going to back up our database to. So we're gonna make a directory over in the home folder. That's the tilde, liferay, dxp, upgrade, exercise source is where we're gonna go into the backup folder. I'm gonna create a folder called liferay-6.2. Okay, 
Okay, so we're going to be backing up into that folder. So MySQL has a specific backup client called MySQL dump, right? We're just going to follow the directions uh, given to us by the exercise here. All right, so no magic, uh, nothing too crazy here. Again, if the copy and paste is working for you, go ahead and use the copy and paste. All right. Don't want, again, we're, we're trying to make life as easy as we can here. This is already a daunting task of upgrading in life, right? So try to make things as painless for you as possible. Uh, I unfortunately do have to type this out. All right, so hopefully I haven't typoed anything. That's the hope. I wish if I did typo something, uh, if you're telling me, I wish I could hear you. Uh, I think everything is good. I will double check. Uh, click on the filing cabinet. We're going to take a peek here. All right. Life ray upgrade, exercise source, backup, 6.2. There it is. Cool. Again, you know the golden rule of backing up. A backup is not a backup if you have not first restored from it successfully and if it's not, you know, at least kind of up to date. Right, let's go ahead and back up a couple more things here. Again, kind of simulating what we would do in the real world. Uh, we're going to be backing up the data folder within our LifeRay instance. So we're going to copy that up. Uh, okay, let me get that tilde there. So the data folder. So life ray, DXP upgrade, servers, clean, life ray portal, life ray portal, and then data. Where are we going to back that up to? To that backup folder that we saw a little bit ago. So life ray, DXP upgrade, exercise, source, and then backup, and then that life ray 62 folder that we created. Right. If you want to check to make sure that it's there, feel free to do so. Let's go ahead and trust that it is. We've gotten our LifeRay 6.2 instance up and running. We've backed up all of the uh, big points that we need to back up in the 6.2 world. Next up, let's go ahead and upgrade it to LifeRay 7.1. Right. To do this, we're going to start off by unzipping our LifeRay 7.1 bundle. So that's over in the downloads folder in our uh, machine, our virtual machine. So unzip from the downloads folder, downloads, life rate DXP, and then if you use tab, it'll complete the rest. Dash D, where are we gonna unzip this to? Uh, in that clean folder. So life rate DXP upgrade, servers, and then clean. And then we'll let the unzipping process take over. Cool. Now that the unzipping process is finished, we're going to start off by using one of our tools. This is going to be the database upgrade tool. So we're going to navigate into our LifeRay 7.1 instance. So LifeRay DXP upgrade, servers, clean, LifeRay uh, DXP, and then there we are. Okay, make sure to use tab uh, to autocomplete there. Right. If you need to pause, feel free to do so. I know I've said that a lot, but again, I'm trying to kind of go at a little bit faster pace. Uh, these videos are already pretty long. Anyways, <laughs> right. So here in the LifeRay 7.1 folder, we have a folder called Tools. We're going to navigate into the Tools folder, and then using LS to take a look, we have this Portal Tool DB Upgrade Client. So we're going to use that Upgrade Client to help us out. So I'm going to navigate into it. So portal tools DB, right? And it's going to bring us into here. Now, as we discussed in the lecture portion, there are a couple of property files that we can configure here to work with the database upgrade tool. And so just kind of working off the list, let's start off with the app server. So if you're familiar with Unix systems, there's a bunch of different uh, a bunch of different text editors. Uh, the one that I, I kind of use offhand is nano. So typing nano followed by the file that we're going to upload, the app server.properties. 
once you've got that, go ahead and open it up and it's gonna be here uh, in line. So in the terminal window here. So you can see the cursor and as I scroll through, the cursor moves with it. So I'm looking for Tomcat. Uh, once you find Tomcat, you can uh, move the cursor with your up and down arrows. Uh, if you're familiar with you know, Vim or VI or Emacs, you can use uh, some of those uh, keyboard shortcuts as well, or macros. Okay, so removing the uh, pound signs or hashtags as I, I think of them. Once you have that, uh, to exit out is going to be control followed by X as an X-ray. It's gonna say, do you wanna save what changes you've made? We're gonna type Y for yes. It's gonna prompt us, um, what's the name of the file? Uh, we're gonna override the app server dot properties like so. Let's do the same thing for the database as well. So nano portal dash upgrade dash database. All right, open that up. Okay, and again, we're looking for the MySQL. So scrolling through, looking for MySQL, SQL Server. I probably passed it, didn't I? There it is. So I can use my arrow key. Again, you can always use your uh, keyboard shortcuts from other Unix text editors. Again, I'm gonna use my arrow key just to make things a little, uh, not as visually jarring. I know just using tab is already kind of a lot. So, so username is root, password is life ray. I'm gonna use control X to exit out. We're gonna save it by hitting Y and then hit enter to override the property. Very good. Now that we have that part taken care of, next up, uh, let's go ahead and we can edit the uh, portal upgrade ext, but I'm gonna just let it, uh, I'm gonna configure that property as we start up the database upgrade tool. So the start of the database upgrade tool dot slash signifies we're referencing here in this directory, db underscore upgrade tab to autocomplete dot sh. Enter life rate home, we're gonna use the default, you can hit enter, and we're gonna let the upgrade tool do its thing. We discussed in the lecture portion how there are uh, two means, two methodologies of upgrading, right? You can do it all in one shot, which is what we have right now, or you can uh, or you can split it up. You can upgrade the core and then upgrade the modules separately. And so the current configuration that we have, we're just going to work all in one shot going to upgrade everything in one go. So we're going to go ahead and wait for that process to finish. All right, so we see here the upgrade process is finally finished uh, for us, or at least for me, I should say, uh, it took five minutes, uh, five minutes and some change. So that's the upgrade process for uh, just a regular plain old database. In the next exercise, we're gonna go through and see how uh, we're able to upgrade something more production-like with our Jake's uh, manufacturer data. All right, so again, I wanna thank you for sticking with me to the end of this video, and I will see you in the next video.